All right, guys, good to see everybody. As always, thanks for joining me today. We got some nice weather for class. Um, we're going to start out with our warm up, as always. We'll get into our shadow boxing. And then after that, we're going to look at a couple of teeth variations today, establishing the teeth, a couple of teeth options. And then, as always, using some paint with the teeth and then looking at our opportunities after that. So, a lot of Muay Thai comes down to controlling the center line. Okay, we're going to talk about that. Our teeth is one of our main tools to do that, along with the jab, of course. Um, but we're going to focus mostly on the teeth today. Okay, hands together, feet together. So we got. Good to see everybody. Let's get into our jumping jacks. So 30 seconds of jumping jacks. We'll switch to another uh, exercise after that. Ready? Begin. Let's go. 30 seconds. Facebook, if you guys are jumping on here. We're starting class right now. Come on in. You don't need anything but yourself. Starting with jumping jacks right now. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Good. Into our squats, please. Normal squats with our ankle raise coming all the way up from the toes to the top. All the way up, nice and tall here at the top. Good form. Nice and tall at the top. Good, couple of squat jumps to finish out here. Couple of squat jumps, let's go. And we're back into jumping jacks, 30 seconds, let's go. Remember, we can change up our hand position. We can go front, side to side here. Up and down, change up the full work. I'm not gonna jump a ton today, guys. My knee's bothering me a little bit, but Abby's gonna demonstrate. Change up that hand position, change up the full work a little bit if you guys are comfortable with that. Jimmy, what's happening, brother? All right, guys, in the lunges, please. Let's go. Forward stepping lunge. Forward stepping lunge. Back step lunge. Lateral lunge. All the way out. Jumping jacks, let's go. Third set, here we go. Let's be warming up a little bit. Chaz, what's up, brother? You joining us today? Working out? Ten seconds. What's up, Renee? Push ups. Here we go. Take your time. Focus on good quality repetitions. This is not about the number of push ups you can get. We're continuing to work out. Jazz, awesome. Let's go. Heck yeah, man. Let's get after it. 10 seconds. Nice August with the gloves. Very nice. Five seconds. And we're back to jacks. Let's go. We're back to jacks. 30 seconds. Once again, remember you can change up your hand position. You can change up your foot position, front to back, side to side. Be dynamic here. Good. Shoulders, here we go. Hands by your side. Out to the side. In front. Up. Front. Side. Down. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. A little faster. Let's go. Good range of motion. Five seconds. Jacks, last set. Let's go. Last set. Max, what's up, brother? You jumping in? 
Working out right now, Scotty, what's happening? Ten seconds. Hey, ten burpees. That's it. Ten burpees. No push up. Kick back. No push up. That's all good, brother. Glad you're tuning in. Stopping by to say hi. Thanks for stopping in, Professor George. What's happening, sir? Once you finish your burpees, let's pop up. Just ten. Kick back. No push up. Nice work, guys. Let's get into our Muay Thai techniques now, please. As always, I like defense first. That should be our foundation. Solid base, hands are up, good rhythm in our stance, feet shoulder width. Let's pick up our checks, piece. Pick that block up. The inside of your knee. Strong block. Eyes forward. Look, upper body's not crunching, I'm not leaning. I don't break my base. Cross block if you're comfortable as well. Uh, knees, please, long knee. Down from the side here. Toes back. Back to hit out into the midsection. Up tall, long knee, lift. Coach Mark, what's happening, brother? Hey, Steve. Thanks for jumping on, man. Teeps, let's go. Lead leg, normal. Rear leg, push. Lead leg, switch. Rear leg, lift, drive. Lead leg, skip it in. I'm not gonna do that one with my knee. Five. Joe Taylor, what's up, my man? Thanks for jumping on. Coach Danny. Good to see you, brother. <laughs> full extension, guys. Counterbalance with the arm. Push that hip out. Full extension. Good. Straight punches. Let's go. Straight punches. Full extension. Back to our guard every time. Nice and relaxed here. Eyes forward. Coming all the way back here every time. Good, full extension, turn your knuckles over. Turn those knuckles over. Back to your eyebrows. Hooks. Nice and tight here, pivot slightly. Opposite hand answers the foam. Arms should be parallel to the floor. Right back. Uppercut, shoe shine, bend your knees, roll your shoulders. Now chin level here, tuck the chin, roll the shoulders. Down in your stance nicely, Anna. 10 seconds. Elbows, open your hands, cover high. Rico, what's up, brother? I had to adjust. I still got it though, don't worry. Nice, Casey. Good, Patrick. Remember, after each elbow, guys, reset. Find your balance. Reset, reset. Good. Take your time. Horizontal elbow, downward, uppercut. Good. Cover tight. Cover tight with that opposite hand. And time. Check it out for a second. Very nice, guys. Okay, let's shadow box. About two minutes here to finish out. As always, I like to layer weapons in as we go. Your main things that we should always be focused on is a good base underneath us, good rhythm, good position with our hands. Make sure we're always coming back to that home base every time. Full extension on our technique. Be efficient with your technique, okay? Make it look clean. So here's what I would like to start, please. Shorter weapons, punch, elbow, knee. Zone two, zone one weapons. Chain those together. I always wanna see defense. So still check, still lean back, still use your long guard here, okay? Punch, elbow, knee are our three weapons. Everyone good? On three, one, two, three. Let's go. Facebook Live. How's it going, guys? Thanks for jumping on. 
You're part of the Zoom class over here. You got a bunch of people on right now getting after it. We got about 35 in class. So thanks you guys for joining us. We're doing the same thing on Facebook. I just don't get to see you guys on here. Coach Paul, how are you, sir? Thanks for joining us. Once again, let's make sure we got some defense in there. We're going to throw some punches, picking up a check, resetting. Okay, punch, lean back, fire back, lean, elbow, reset. Use your long guard. Good balance. Okay, add in your lead teep as well. Work on pairing it with your jab. We call that chaining, right? Chaining two weapons together. It's like one off of the other. Brad, when you throw that teeth, counterbalance with your hand. Drive that arm back. Watch my arm. Good. Very nice, guys. Remember, good defense after, at least after that elbow. Long guard your way back out to that space. Knees. Good, yeah, exactly. Very nice. Should always be thinking about defense in these rounds, guys. See stuff coming at you, block it, return. Strong defense, strong offense, good technique, good lean back, Coach Dustin. Okay, if you have the space available, add in some kicks, add in some low kick, middle kick, high kick, if you have the room. If you don't have the room, don't be kicking through your door at your house. I'm not responsible for that. What's up, Mallory? Mallory, you better be training right now. 30 seconds, guys, 30 seconds. You can call, what's happening, brother? A little bit more speed, please, let's pick it up, finish fast. Nice sharp technique. Nice, Ryan. <laughs> Good. Nice, Rachel. Good, Allison. Down on the knee, Linda. Good. Good teach. All right, guys. Time. Ten burpees. Let's go. Once you finish those, grab a drink. Gear up. Let's go to work. Ten burpees. Let's get it. Grab a drink after that, please. And then glove up. If you have a partner, glove shin guards. If you're by yourself, shadow boxing on a bag. Just put your gloves on. That's fine. Facebook Live, we're doing the Zoom class right now. We got everyone on here, getting after it. So you guys are just on the Facebook Live version, so thank you for joining us. If you wanna join in, please join in. Huge, what's happening, brother? Guys, the link is on my Facebook page too, so if you guys wanna join the Zoom part, uh, feel free to do that. The link I posted on my Facebook page earlier today. Lindsay, what's happening? All right, guys, about 20 seconds. We're gonna get moving here. Once you got your gloves on, make sure I can see you. Adrian, what's up, brother? We got Zoom class going on right now. You're on the Facebook version. Okay, guys, let's get into it, please. So we're gonna start off right here, just working on controlling the center line. This is a drill. I love to do in my classes a lot, okay? We talk about how important the center space is in Muay Thai, being able to control that distance, dictate where the fight is taking place. Even if we want to be inside, we can use our teep to achieve that goal. Generally, we use the teep to stay a little bit longer and maintain that space zone. So, we're going to work on a couple of concepts here, okay? Establishing the distance in the center, dictating the space that the fight is taking place at, and then chaining our weapons together, okay? We talk about this a lot. We want to make a weapon successful. 
we add another weapon onto it. So we give them something else to think about, right? I'll have more success if I'm throwing a little bit more at my opponent, making them think about something else. The odds of me landing a kick by itself, we'll call a naked kick against a trained opponent, is going to be low, right? When I hide it with a hand combination or a fang in front of it, the odds of me landing it go up. So we made the same concept with the teeth here. So we're going to play the jab and the teeth off of each other. Two levels attacking the head and the body, focusing on controlling that center line right now. So the drill is going to look like this, okay? I'm going to jab first, follow with my teeth right behind it. The jab is a little bit more of smoke. I'm not stepping hard and committed to this jab because now I won't have room for the teeth. So I'm just showing the jab mostly to get their attention so I can put the teeth behind it, okay? Jab, teeth. The goal is I'm trying to land the teeth on the end. Does everyone see it? So one more time. Jab, teeth. I'm not stepping deep on the jab because now I'm going to be too close, okay? So here's what I want. Jab, teeth. Jab, fake the teeth to get them to react, and we step back into a hard jab off of that. Okay, so we're playing these two weapons off of each other. We throw the jab to get them to look for it, and the teeth comes behind it. One, two. We reset. We jab, we fake the teeth to get them to look for that, and now I can play the hard jab on the end of that. Okay, so jab the teeth, reset, jab and lift, heavy jab on the end. Everyone good? On three, one, two, three. Let's go. Make sure when we fake the teeth, Coach Pete Martinez, what's happening, brother? Evan, what's up? When you guys fake the teeth, you're lifting it all the way up. It's got to look like the teeth. Nice, Jen. On the second jab, give me a hard drive off your back foot, though. Make that a power jab. Good, son. Remember that second jab is heavy, okay? Patty lifts, drive. Yes, good. I want big push off that back leg on that second jab. We want to crack him on that one. Hey, Ryan, can you adjust your camera just slightly so I can see your teeth at all? Is it possible or no? If not, that's okay. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Nice, Casey. Yeah, guys, if you're shadow boxing, find something to teeth. Find something you can aim at in your house. Put a chair out. Put a pillow out on the wall. Find a spot on the wall. Put a, tape, put a piece of tape on the wall. Nice, Coach Dustin. Ten seconds. Good. Okay, let's add on here, please. Just one piece onto this, okay? Off that heavy jab. On the end, the goal is to try to catch the opponent off balance, stun them with that jab, right? Or really just move them out of position, and then we can score on the end of that. So we're going to add the rear middle kick on the end of this combination, okay? So let's take a look at it all together. Abby's going to go here. Jab teeth. Once again, this first jab is just smoke. It's to set up the teeth underneath. Okay, now she's got me looking for the teeth because that's what landed. Jab lift. Heavy jab. Finish with the kick on the end. You guys notice off of the lift, she's driving into this jab and really forcing me back. So she lifts. She drives. And now she can make her score on the kick off of that. Does everyone understand that? If she lifts and throws a soft jab here, I may still be in position to defend, okay? But if she steps in and drives hard, and she can even drift to this side a little bit. So if we watch it from this side, jab T, good. Jab lift, as she jabs, she'll drift. Now she has a nice angle for that kick right across the center. Does everyone see it? Let's add that on, please, okay? On three, one, two, three, let's go.
Sebastian, what's up, brother? Thanks for jumping on. We're doing the Zoom class right now. You're right next to the uh, my laptop here, so we're just running on Facebook Live too. Working on some center line stuff and then some feints. Nice, Jen. Yep. Ian, let me see it again. Sorry, I just missed. Jab, Pete. Good. Jab, lift, drive. Yes, good angle. Okay, let's take a look at one small detail, guys. Look in just for a second, because I'm seeing this from some people, okay? The goal of throwing the jab with the teeth quick is to get the teeth to land. So I'm seeing some people do this. Jab, reset, teeth. Okay, you're not gonna get the opponent thinking about anything if there's a pause in between, right? If Abby pauses, if she jabs first, and then pauses the teeth, I'm able to still address the teeth. Right, but when she throws the teeth right behind the jab, I have less chance of doing that. Right, and now she's got me looking for that. Okay, one more time, jab teeth right away. That's what I'm looking for. Jab lift, drive, big jab. Teeth again on the end to finish, control the center line. All together. Jab teeth. Jab lift, drive, big jab, four. Control the middle again. Everyone good? On three, one, two, three. Let's go. Eric, what's happening, brother? Son, you're a little deep on that kick. Step left a little bit. You're kicking closer to your knee. Step out. Adjust your space a little bit. Mari, I want your kick to go to the leg. Make yours a low kick, Mari. Yep, good, yep. Peter, what's up, brother? Good, Allie. Reset, good. Lift, push, good. Teeth, very nice. Nice, Patrick, good. Remember, after you finish, move around the bag a little bit, jab it to reset it, right? I want you to use your jab and teeth to reset the bag. Oh, like, what's up, brother? Good to see you. Thanks for jumping on. 30 seconds, guys, 30 seconds. Nice, Jen, good. This is good for lefties. You can create that good south pie angle off of that drive on the jab. Good. Nice, Tracy. Finish with the teeth again on the end. Control the center. Yep. Nice, Gino. Good balance, good balance. Okay, guys, let's get another option here, please. Let's go off the other side, okay? So look, whenever we talk about feints, I always watch you guys get the feint first, we lift, we get the opponent to react, and then it's up to you guys, right? Based on your strength, based on what the opening is, you guys have to be able to see what's available and then execute. So I like to always give a couple options off the roof of day, just to put some stuff in the toolbox and then let you guys use it based on what you find to be available to you in sparring or competition, okay? Let's just look at one on the other side. Keep in mind, right? We could do a million options off of this. I'm just showing some that are kind of high percentage stuff that works well, simple combinations, relying on the fundamentals here, okay? Trying to get one step ahead of our opponent. So, jab to teeth again. Good. Jab and lift. One more time. We're going to step down into our cross and then our switch kick on the other side. Jab and lift. Cross. Switch kick to finish. Okay. Slight angle on the switch kick. Jab deep. Jab lift. Crack that cross. Switch on the kick to finish off. Okay. Once again, the cross is heavy. When she lifts, maybe I react by trying to catch what I think is the tee. So when she lifts, I drop my hand. She cracks me here. And now, we have them really set up for that kick afterwards. We give a, give a lazy cross off of that, they're not gonna be out of position. So we hit that cross hard and we make that shot count. Okay, once again, making sure when we lift, it looks like the teeth. This isn't good enough. This isn't good enough. Lift, drive into the cross. Okay, one more time, jab the teeth. Jab the lift, big cross, big switch. Reset out. Good. All right, on three, one, two, three. Let's go.
Janelle, what's happening? All good. Yeah, you've been training like crazy. Take a little break. Jeremy, what's up, brother? Thanks for joining in. Nice, Lisa. Good. Let me see it, Mike. Deep, reset, jab, lift, heavy cross, kick to finish. Good. Guys, if you're tight on space, that could always be a knee on the end. Good cross. Nice, Ryan. If you guys are tight on space, instead of the kick, just make it the knee. Good, Rachel. Lift, heavy. Yes, beautiful. Good, nice. Good keep on the end to finish. Twenty seconds. Good, August. Nice. Hey, way to use that belly pad. Great job. So, yep, August. You can change yours to the knee sometimes too. If you want to go with the knee, you can do the knee instead. Off it, right up the center. Couple more. Couple more. Couple more. Eric, what's happening? I can't see your camera. Glad you're on though. Very nice, guys. Good time. 10 burpees, please. Let's go. 10 burpees. If you're at home on Facebook, 10 burpees. Let's get them with your gloves on. Nice work, guys. All right, good job. Pop up, let's finish your burpees. Okay, let's work on now using the teep as our follow-up to the faint. So we're changing a little bit. Now we were te teeping before and then fainting. Now we're gonna switch kick and then faint and do our teep. This one I like a lot. This is a good setup here. Okay, so what we're gonna do, let's switch sides here. Okay, we're gonna go jab cross into our switch kick to the arms here. Once again, the jab cross sets up the switch kick. So we hit that hard to get them out of position so we can score. Okay, now we're gonna switch our feet so it looks like the switch kick. That's our feint. Does everyone see it? So one more time. Jab cross, switch kick. Okay, I'm looking for this switch kick now. That was a heavy shot that landed. I'm looking to defend it. Now when she switches, I defend. Maybe either I check or I reach with my arms to block. Either way, I'm thinking about the round kick and not about the teeth. So watch, as Abby switches this time, she's gonna go and push right into her teeth and off balance me here, okay? The important part about this thing is a slight delay. So once she switches, she waits for me to bite, and then she blasts me with the teeth. Everyone see it? So one more time. Jab, cross, switch, kick. Good, reset. I'm looking for the kick now. Big switch. I check, big switch, I check, and then she teeps to finish. So let's go through it one more time. Jab, cross, switch, kick. Okay, I'm looking for this left kick now off the switch. The switch is my trigger. She fakes the switch, I check, boom, blast me with the teep. Everyone see it, okay? The switch has to be quick, boom, slight pause, finish with the teep up the center, knock them off balance. Good, on three, one, two, three. Nice, Lisa. Jeremy, awesome, man. Let me know how it goes. Shoot me a message after. JJ, what's happening? Power. Sam, what's up, brother? Hope you're doing well, man. What's up, Caroline? You guys are doing Zoom class over here. There are about 35 people in class right now, so you guys are tuning in on Facebook. 
Good rhythm, Chino, good. Give me, Chino, get longer on your jab cross for me, please. Get a little bit longer on it. Good, 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 looking good, guys. Nice, good. Mike, that was a great pause. That's exactly what I'm looking for in the faint. Good, George. Nice, Casey. Looking good, guys. 10 seconds. Okay, time. Let's try to get one more option here off the switch, okay? The switch is our feint now, remember. So, let's take a look. We're gonna do the same setup we just did. Okay, jab cross into our switch dip. So we're getting them to look for that switch, right? The kick lands hard, so next time I see Abby switch, I'm gonna to try to defend, I'm gonna to try to get ahead of that kick. Now when she switches and pauses, she's gonna use her right hand, her front hand now, to push, to jab, or to post, and push me back down so she can score a kickoff to okay? That can be a jab, depending on where their hands are, or if their leg is up, blocking what they think is a kick fake, push. Drive the leg back down and then score. You guys notice as Abby switch, as she's pushing, she's taking her angle. So she's safe, slightly off to the side. Let's look at it from the other side here. Okay. Jab cross, good switch kick. I'm looking for this now, say, the second she switches, I better get in front of this and try to defend. Okay, jab cross, fake the switch. I check, she pushes, and then she scores. Does everyone see it? So we have that slight pause, and remember our order of events. The fake, the bite, and then we follow up. Does everyone see it? Last one. Jab cross, switch kick. Good, I'm looking for the switch. That's my trigger, so that's why she's gonna faint it. Jab cross, fake it. I bite, she pushes, and then she scores the kick again. We all good? All right, let's give it a shot. I'll three, one, two, three. The big part of this should be selling that switch. Sell the fake. Coach Dave, what's happening? What's up, Christina? James, what's up, brother? Sell the switch, sell the switch. Jeff, I love your sign. <laughs> That's awesome. Facebook, this is the Zoom class going on right now. We got about 35 people in class here doing some Muay Thai on Zoom. Nice, Gino, very good, yep, good. Good, Mari. Good, Mari. Good, good, good. Let's see it, Anna. Switch. Good. Reset. Find your rhythm. Jab cross. Fake. Push. Good angle, very nice, beautiful, good job. 30 seconds, guys, good angle, Matt. Jab cross, good, Ryan. Let me see it one more time, George. Oh, you're going, kicking that thing off screen. Switch, good, now reset, reset. Good, fake, push, very nice, good. Okay, time guys, very nice. Shake it out for a second. This last round, here's what I'm looking for. You can shadow box, you guys can go combo for combo with your partner, or you can do a freestyle round on the back. What I would like to see is you guys working these two things that we did, lift 
and switch, and then playing some options off of that. So remember what has to happen first. Before you fake something, you have to land it. Okay, so before Abby fakes the teeth, she has to land the teeth. I'm looking for it. Now when she lifts, I'm looking for that. And she can create her opening. Before she fakes the switch kick, she's got to land the switch kick. It has to hit me. So I go, oh shit, I better look out for this. And now when she fakes the switch kick, she catches me thinking it's coming, and she can follow up with something else. And this is an important rule of faints. Okay? Before you faint something, you've got to land it first and get the respect of your opponent. Everyone good on that? So incorporate that into your shadow box, your bag here, your partner. I want to see you guys land something, faint it, follow up with something else. We're going to go two minutes freestyle to finish. Okay? On three. One, two, three. Let's go. Luke Lassie, what's up, brother? Coach, it looks like Tracy was asking in the chat if we could show one more time if possible. Oh, okay. Um, which, which one is that for, Maddie? Do you know? Not sure. She just said, can you show again? <laughs> but, okay. Tracy, uh, can you unmute her real quick? One second. Junior, what's happening? Okay. Hey, Coach, can you show it again with her? Both sides, the fame? The uh, fame. Off the switch kick? Yeah, because it cut out. The switch okay. kick? Off the yep, yep, yep. Take a look real quick. Everyone else, keep going. One more minute, please. So, Tracy, our two options here, okay? Off the switch kick. Um, so, the first one, we went with the team. So, switch kick. Take the switch. And team. Oh. Second option, switch kick. Take the switch, and now you're going to push with your lead hand as you take an angle to score the kick. Okay? It can be a jab or a post. Use that to create a small angle and then score your kick again. Okay? Thirty seconds, guys. Thirty seconds. Sell those feints. Nice, Coach Dustin. Yes, sir. Beautiful. Let's see it, Rachel. Yeah, cross. Switch kick. Good. Reset. Reset. Good. Very nice. Beautiful. Now run the second option off of that, Rachel. Yep. Beautiful. Very nice. Kaylin, what's up, brother? We're just finishing up here. We got a couple more minutes. Good, Ryan. Linda, let me see it here. Teep, good. Jab, lift. Very nice, good, Linda. Beautiful. And work any follow-up off of that that you feel comfortable with. Dan, what's up, sir? We're doing a Zoom class right now, finishing out here. Okay, guys, time. Very nice work, good. So. Important concept, you guys hear me talk uh, all the time about faints, right? Faints, faints, faints. Ted, what's happening? Good to see you on here, man. Faints, we have to land something first. What's up, Brennan? Jake, what's up, guys? I didn't even see you on there. Snuck in on me. Faints, land first. Once we get the respect of the opponent, when they're looking for that attack, then we can faint to draw the defense out and follow up with something else. I talk about it all the time. We have the initial attack, let's say it's the T, okay? We land the T, then we faint. We follow up with option A, we land the T again, we follow up with option B, and that's really all you need. By then, you're a couple steps ahead of your opponent. You have them guessing, they're not sure if it's a real T or a fake T, and if it's a fake T, they're not sure what follow-up is coming after that, right? The goal is always to get a couple steps ahead. We're playing speed chess here with obviously a lot higher consequences, but the goal is to get one, two, three steps ahead of our opponent, Always keeping them guessing on what's coming next on offense. Everyone good on that? All right, guys, gloves off, please. All right, guys, let's finish out here. As always in my class, these last five minutes, I like to get a good push here with body weight workout. Remember, we're gonna go 45 seconds of work. 15 
seconds of rest, five exercises to finish class, okay? Five minutes of work here. Give me a good push. Let's finish out strong. Finish Tuesday on a good note for me, please, okay? So first exercise, our squat to lunge. You guys have seen this if you've done the class before. Abby's gonna demonstrate my knees acting a little funny today. One squat and then back step lunge, alternating sides. We're gonna go for 45 seconds. We'll rest for 15 after that. Everyone ready? All right, let's go to work. Three, two, one, begin, let's go. Well, let's finish strong, guys. Let's go. Last round of the day, and we're done. Danny, what's up? What's up, Aaliyah? Finishing our Zoom class right now. 10 seconds. Let's go. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Good. Next exercise. Ricky, what's happening, sir? We're gonna go push up to a four count mountain climber, okay? Take a look at Abby here. We're going down into a push up. We do a push up and four count. One, two, three, four. Back into our push up. Everyone good on that? Okay, push up to four count mountain climber. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's work, let's go. Ricky, good to see you on here, man. We're finishing our Zoom class. I got everyone on Zoom right now. Oh, sorry. Make sure you see everyone here. I also have Facebook Live going at the same time just to bring some more people in here. And we're just finishing class with a little body weight circuit. We did some Muay Thai, worked on some combinations and some feints. Finishing out here. 10 seconds, let's go, let's go, let's go. Give me a good push here. We're done after this, so I want you guys finishing strong. Nice, Linda, good, good form. And time, pop up. Great job, guys. Okay, we're going into abs here, please. Bicycle crunches on your backs. Standard elbow to knee, alternating sides. Bicycle crunch, 45 seconds, okay? Three, two, and one. Let's work, here we go. Finish strong, finish strong, finish strong. Let's go. Nice, Casey. Good, Arlie. Nice, George. Nice, Rachel, good tempo. Ricky, hope you're doing well over there, man. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Five seconds. And time, pop up, great job. We got two more guys. 10 seconds, we're going to burpees next. 45 seconds of burpees. Three, two, one, let's go. We're all tired right now, okay? Everyone in class is tired, let's stay focused. Focus only on the repetition directly in front of you and give me good form here, especially when we're tired. This is where injuries happen if we don't remain focused, okay? Lock your core in at the bottom of that burpee. We're almost there, let's go. 10 seconds, come on. Five seconds. And time, big breath. Great job, guys, last one here, okay? We're gonna do a plank to push up. So this is what this should look like. We're gonna start in push up position on our, on our hands. We're all gonna start here. When I say down, we're gonna move to a plank position. When I say up, we go back up to our push up position. It's gonna help to have your feet spread out just a little bit here, a little bit of a wider base. 
Okay, try to have the hands directly underneath the shoulders. Try to keep your hips from swinging side to side when you change position. Everyone good? We're gonna start in the high plank in the push-up position, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. High plank to start off. Josh, what's up, brother? Down. Watch those hips when you come down. Try not to let those hips swing. We should be on our forearms right now. Up. Down. Good, nice control, Casey. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Almost there, give me 10 more seconds. Down. Up. And time. All right, guys, great job. Pop up, stand up, catch your breath. Facebook, guys, thanks for joining me. We're gonna close out class here real quick. All right, guys, stand up nice and tall. Let's finish out class here. Guys, great job today. Um, Faints are a big part of my game. I, I talk about them all the time. A lot of our curriculum is built around faints on our offensive week. They're really important, okay? It's a great tool to add into your arsenal to get your opponent to show their hand without actually taking damage, without actually throwing something and committing to something. If we faint the right way, we can get our opponent to show what they were planning on doing without us actually really doing anything. Okay, remember the key to a good faint. One, land something first. So they're looking for it. Two, the faint has to look like the strike that you're throwing. Three, read the opening that they give you. Based on how they defend, you will have an opening available, and then we follow up with that opening afterwards. Okay? Guys, thank you all for joining me today. I know it was uh, nice weather out, so we don't always want to be inside, but I appreciate you guys sticking around and training with me today. I will be on Thursday as well. Um, Stay tuned for updates on what Easton is going to be doing, right? Um, I talked about this last week. This is all so fluid. This is day by day, hour by hour. As soon as we are able to open up in some capacity as safely as possible, we will let you guys know, okay? But in the meantime, this is what we have, and I want to make the most of this, and I appreciate you guys getting on here and training hard. I know this is not our ideal situation, but it's what we have right now, so we make the best of it, okay? That should always be the goal. Um, so guys, thank you again. I appreciate it. Let's close out hands together, feet together. Cup and cup. Thank you guys. Have a great night. I'll be on for a couple more minutes. If you guys want to hang out and chat, we can do that. Thank you all guys.